Once again, GOA's legal team won another legal victory against New York. I'm Ben Sanderson, and this is the Minuteman Moment. The Supreme Court has denied vacating the Second Circuit stay in Antonyuk v. Negrelli. Now I realize that's all lawyer gibberish, so let me spend the rest of the video explaining what that sentence is and why it's still good news and helpful to gun owners across the country. In case you haven't been following our battle against Governor Hochul, the tyrant of New York, let me give you a quick summary. After the Bruin Supreme Court case forced state governments to give concealed carry permits to applicants, the New York state government and other anti-gun state governments passed laws that made it so difficult to carry a firearm, it was nearly impossible to do legally. So we sued New York. GOA won at the district court level, and for the next few days, most of New York's gun control didn't apply. That's a lot of freedom. But then, the Second Circuit ruined all of that and stayed GOA's victory, delaying it without any explanation. This breaking news basically means that the Supreme Court refused to overturn the Second Court's decision. So I can hear some of you typing on your keyboard already, but Ben, I thought you said this was good news. You know what? It is. This opinion is a warning shot from Justices Alito and Thomas. First off, they write, We understand the court's denial today to reflect respect for the Second Circuit's procedures in managing its own docket, rather than expressing any view on the merits of the case. So keeping that in mind, today's denial does not explicitly mean that New York's gun control is constitutional. The High Court is simply following procedure. The Justice also go on to give us encouragement for the future. Applicants should not be deterred by today's order from again seeking relief if the Second Circuit does not, within a reasonable time, provide an explanation for its order to stay or expedite consideration of the appeal. Basically, Thomas and Alito just told the whole Second Circuit to mess around and find out. We tend to forget, but Supreme Court justices are people too. Justices Alito and Thomas are absolute patriots. And from this, they clearly understand the frustration that American gun owners feel over their constitutional rights being infringed. Not only are they almost directly telling GOA to appeal again if the Second Circuit doesn't act quickly enough, but they're also implying that if we appeal to the Supreme Court, these justices would be more than happy to take up this case based on the fact of how unconstitutional New York's gun laws have been. It looks like they're supportive of GOA's case and find the facts compelling which is another important factor that the High Court uses to decide which cases to take up. And of course, they also noted that we won at the district level and that GOA was likely to succeed. In other words, the Supreme Court just noted that GOA's lawsuit, Antonyuk v. Negrelli, ticks all of their boxes, indicating that they'll take this case up on appeal unless the Second Circuit rules in favor of the Second Amendment and only technically denied our motion, giving the Second Circuit time to fix its own mess. Now we'll keep fighting until this gun control is completely eliminated. And we have a precedent preventing other states like New Jersey from following in New York's gun-grabbing footsteps. Thanks for watching the Minuteman Moment. I'll see you next time.